And that breaking news tonight, just within the last half hour, we learned of the punishment for a man accused of brutally attacking his ex-girlfriend, nearly ripping out her tongue. That woman shared her story with our Emily Longnecker about a year ago, and she's been following the case very closely ever since. Emily joins us now live tonight with what was really a very emotional afternoon in court that you witnessed today, Emily. Yeah, John and Ann, so emotional. You know, it's ironic. A year ago today, Carly Hager spoke to us from her hospital bed about her then live-in boyfriend assaulting her so badly that she ended up in the ICU unit with a brain bleed. Well, Carly Hager spoke again today, this time in court, asking a judge to send her now ex-boyfriend, Ryan Cameron, to several years in prison. It was an emotional scene outside the court after Judge Lisa Borges sentenced Cameron to 11 years, six to be served in prison, three on home detention, and two years probation. Cameron pled guilty to aggravated assault. Carly Hager cried in court when she told the judge, quote, he used and abused me, and all I did was try to love him. She called Cameron a master manipulator and asked the judge to put him behind bars for several years. Experts for the defense testified they believed Cameron blacked out the night he attacked Carly because he had had too much to drink. Before sentencing Cameron, Judge Borges said she didn't believe Cameron just got drunk one night and became the Incredible Hulk, getting violent for the very first time. And Ryan Cameron also spoke in court today saying that he was sorry. He apologized to Carly Hager. He apologized to her family, and he also apologized to his family. He called what he did to Carly Carly indefensible, and during his apology, Carly Hager and her family, and also Ryan Cameron's family, quietly sobbed. And John? Oh, really tough. All right, Emily, thank you.